Hi, I'm Dr. Agyaram. Uh, today I will tell about leukorrhea. Leukorrhea is most gynecological complaint seen by primary care doctor. And it may be physiologically occurrence or pathologically manifestations. So, white vaginal discharge is very common in pregnancy and uh, it is due to physiologically changes. So, it is normal during pregnancy and uh, chances of infection is very rare. And I will tell uh, the vaginal discharge is two types. One is normal vaginal discharge and second is abnormal vaginal discharge. So, the first one is normal vaginal discharge is tend to be the clear, stretchable, dur seen during uh, ovulation time. And uh, it is sometimes yellowish uh, seen in uh, luteal phase. So, it is normal and healthy vaginal discharge. And second is abnormal vaginal discharge. So, abnormal descent vaginal discharge, uh, change in color, volume, consistency and color. And associated with itching, odor and uh, blood contain, pelvic pain and dysuria. So, when there is some infections, it is called as abnormal vaginal discharge. So, normal pH of vagina is 4.5. And who is the risk for leukorrhea or leukorrhea type infections is above 25. Newly, newly sexual partner or more than one like a multiple sexual partner. No use of condom and history of sexual transmitted infections. So, they are prone to get uh, leukorrhea. And what is the causative factor here? So, bacterial infection is the most common cause for uh, leukorrhea, like a bacterial vaginosis and ulvovaginal infections and uh, cervical infections or cervicitis, uh, like uh, Neisseria gonorrhea infections. And some non-infected disease like atropic vaginitis, a foreign body and cervical polyp. And uh, on examinations, you will find some uh, erythema, oedema or some type of uh, uh, like a post -chain, like a small, small pimples with uh, blush. And uh, here history is very important to rule out gonorrhea infections or leukorrhea or any kind of foreign body during examinations and history. So, uh, during history, the last medical, uh, the last month, uh, LMP, last menstrual uh, period date and uh, sexual history and uh, drug history like use of any uh, contraceptive pill is very important uh, to rule out. And uh, what is symptoms going to get in leukorrhea? So, vaginal discharge, it will be in uh, not white exactly, it will be some different color. So, change in color, volume, it may be uh, more discharge and contain with blood and uh, associated with itching, pelvic pain, back pain, dysuria and sometimes burning maturations and feeling too tired and uh, low back pain, like a uh, lower uh, lower limb pain and uh, sometimes they will feel pain on uh, pelvic region also and here what is the uh, precautions or the treatment here so it's very uh, common infections in women so need to be uh, find what is the causative factor and what is the reason for this and during treatment avoid physical like a sexual activity second no use of alcohol or any kind of smoking tobacco and avoid tight fitting dresses and uh, no use of any fragrant like a uh, fragment like a uh, uh, perfume or gel and maintain hygiene drink lot of water and a uh, use of uh, milk is very helpful to reduce back pain and uh, once you are fine also, please avoid multiple partner.